this this came to us like a couple hours ago. It comes with Rob, Robbie Starbuck, and I and it says the American College of Pediatricians just put out a fire statement calling out all the major medical associations by name for pushing the gender transition craze on kids. They asked for these groups to immediately stop the promotion of social affirmation, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries for children and adolescents who experience distress over their biological sex. This is their full statement. Quote, Therefore, given the recent research and revelations of the harmful approach advocated by WPATH and its followers in the United States, we, the un, uh, undersigned, call upon the medical professional organizations of the United States, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Endocrine Society, the Pediatric Endocrine Society, American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, and the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry uh, to follow the science and their European professional colleagues and immediately stop the promotion of social affirmation, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries for children and adolescents who experience distress over their biological sex. Damn. Hell yes. About fucking time, dude. Jesus Christ. All right. So um, instead, these organizations should recommend comprehensive evaluations and therapies aimed at identifying and addressing the underlying psychological comorbidities and neurodiversity that often uh, predispose to the company gender dysphoria. We also encourage the physicians who are members of these professional organizations to contact their leadership and urge them to adhere to the evidence-based research now available. They link many studies to their site. Holy shit. Let's actually see right over here. This is fucking huge, man. This is about damn time, dude. Holy crap, man. 20 years to, oh yeah. Yeah, d damage has already been done. In 20 years, we will see decline in population, unfortunately. Yeah, sterilization. Man, jeez. And we have serious concerns about the physical and mental health effects of the current protocols promoted for the care of children and adolescents in the United States who express discomfort with their biological sex. This declaration was authored by the American College of Pediatricians but really, it was developed from the expertise of hundreds of doctors, researchers, and other healthcare workers and leaders who, for years, have been sounding the alarm on the harmful protocols that continue to be promoted by the medical organizations in the United States. Damn. Despite recent revelations from the leaked WPATH files and the recent release of the final report from the CAST review, these medical organizations have not changed course. So we are calling on these medical organizations of the United States, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Endocrine Society, the Pediatric Endocrine Society, the American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, and the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry to follow the science and their European colleagues and immediately stop the promotion of social affirmation, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries for, sur for children and adolescents who experience distress over their biological sex. In our declaration, we affirm that sex is a dimorphic innate trait defined in relation to an organism's biological role in reproduction, male and female. This genetic signature is present in every nucleated somatic cell in the body and is not altered by drugs or surgical interventions. Consideration of these innate differences is critical to the practice of good medicine and to the development of sound policy for children and adults alike. Medical decision-making should be based upon an individual's biological sex. It should respect biological reality and the yes. dignity of the person by compassionately addressing the whole person. We are here defying the claims made by these medical organizations in the US that those of us who are concerned are a minority and that yes. their protocols are consensus. They are not consensus, and we are speaking in a loud, unified voice, enough. Let's fucking go, dude. About freaking time, man. Holy crap, it's about time these pieces of shit got called out. The fact that doctors are okay 
right? Disregarding their Hippocratic oath to save humankind, to further the human species, the fact that they are purposefully chemically castrating people so they can't have reproductive organs that function properly anymore, right? And the fact that it actually causes more harm than there is good for the person who's actually chemically being castrated, whether male or female. About time that this shit's happening. Yo, let's get this shit out. Let everyone know. I'm going to share this video with like on Facebook where all my fucking woke people, like my woke friends live basically, man. I bet Canada is going to refuse it. Absolutely, man. Trudeau's a fucking tyrant. He's just a piece of shit and blackface piece of shit as well, man. Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that guy is still in office. But hey, a lot of people want to fuck him. So it is what it is. But I'm glad that they're calling this shit out. Now, here's the thing. People are basically saying the Republican is in bed with oil companies. And I say the Democratic people are in bed with big pharma, right? Here's the thing. All of these, all of these pharmas, big pharma, the hospitals that are actually promoting this uh, HRT, promoting like uh, freaking surgeries, top bottom surgeries, double mastectomies, uh, w w whatever you call it. A lot of these hospitals are getting big money from big pharma, right? And that's the reason why they're doing it. It's not that they're doing it for money, right? So like the, like the, the, the chief head of the hospital is like, yeah, we want to do that so we can get more money. We get more funding to do weird shit. But I'm glad we're seeing this shit. The American College of Pedi uh, Pediatricians, Dr. Jill Simmons, um, Simon, sorry, Jill Simons. Yes, like I'm going to be sharing this. We, ne we need them to stop. We need them to... Like, seriously, stop, man, for, for the betterment of the human race, the betterment of future generations, betterment of our kids. This needs to stop. 